The Philippines has an ambitious plan of securing a sustainable and clean energy future. Its climate change agenda hinges on the Philippine Energy Plan, which was rolled out in 2020 by the Department of Energy. This begins a 20-year transition that ends in 2040, which by then, the renewable energy share is expected to reach 50% of the overall power generation mix. That's 37 gigawatts of expected capacity enough to power 26 million homes. There is still a lot of work needed to be done to reach our targets. With thousands of megawatts of capacity committed to renewable energy, support from our stakeholders and industry partners is much needed more than ever. To increase the support base and investments in renewable energy, the DOE has made some fundamental changes that will now open the space to foreign investment. By issuing Department Circular, DC number 2022-11-0034, which allows full foreign ownership of renewable energy projects, the DOE expects a substantial increase in foreign capital inflows which will accelerate the transition to a 50% RE mix by 2040. Prior to establishing a clear path to a sustainable clean energy future through recent initiatives by the DOE, the government had already put important legislation in place as far back as 2008. Republic Act No. 9513, also known as the Renewable Energy Act of 2008, was signed into law to provide various mechanisms in the development of both on and off-grid production of renewable energy. This also provided tax exemptions and a tax holiday as part of the incentives afforded investors engaging in RE. The RE Act of 2008 has all these key mechanisms for a smooth energy transition. Number 1. A feed-in tariff system. This entails fixed rates for the sale of electricity generated by RE facilities. Number 2. Renewable portfolio standards. The RPS is a market-based policy directive requiring load-serving entities to source an agreed portion of their energy supply from eligible RE facilities. Number 3. The Net Metering Program The end user can now become both the consumer and the producer, which gives them a chance to profit from usage or lower the cost of their consumption. The law affords the end user to own an energy generating facility on their property and is only charged or credited from the difference between energy consumed and produced. Number 4. Green Energy Option Program the GEOP gives the end user the freedom to choose an energy provider if it is generated from RE. Although before a party is qualified for GEOP, the stipulation of a minimum consumption of 100 kilowatts per month over a 12-month period has to be met. Number 5. Green Energy Auction Program With the renewable portfolio standards mandating players to reach a quota on renewables, it is essential to have a mechanism to fill the gap by way of auction in providing access to excess RE production for participants who are falling short of their annual requirements. And finally, the establishment of the renewable energy market. One key element of the market is the issuance of renewable energy certificates. The market facilitates the provision of incentives RE generators receive through issued RECs which can be traded. An RE generator must produce 1 megawatt hour for one REC. This helps in keeping up with the mandated participants' annual RPS obligation considering the increase of 2.52% in their annual obligation starting in 2023 from the original 1% imposed on players through Department Circular No. 2022-09-0030, titled prescribing the adjusted annual percentage increment to be imposed on all mandated participants of the renewable portfolio standards for on-grid areas. The RE Act of 2008 also mandated the Philippine Electricity Market Corporation, a non-stop non-profit corporation, to establish the Renewable Energy Registrar in building the renewable energy market. It is mandated to facilitate the processes in the REM from data collection issuance of RECs, and compliance monitoring of mandated participants. These functions of the RE Registrar will be transferred to the Independent Electricity Market Operator of the Philippines Incorporated. 
upon declaration of the commercial operations of the RE market, while PEMC shall continue to perform its responsibilities as the REM governance arm, as stated in the relevant laws. Meanwhile, preparations for the transfer of the RE registrar functions are ongoing, including the conduct of knowledge transfer and capacity building programs and the execution of a memorandum of agreement, which will define the roles and obligations of the parties upon commercial operations of the RE market. PEMC continues to promote the renewable energy market as well as looking into the possibility of establishing a voluntary market to run in parallel with the compliance market for a more robust exchange. PEMC, looking ahead, partnered with the Southeast Asian Energy Transition Partnership to introduce energy storage systems in the energy market to address intermittency issues attributed to variable renewable energy resources. With all the mechanisms and government policies in place, strong stakeholder support, and participants' resolute compliance. The challenge to reach the 50% RE energy target for 2040 now seem realistic, and a sustainable clean energy future is finally within reach.